this final piece is also not mine. A friend of mine wrote it in high school. This is a real assignment that he turned in, and I think he got a D on it. Benjamin Franklin's effect on the Revolutionary War, the Constitution, and the Scientific World by James Frederick Christian von Udy III. Who do most Americans think of when asked to name one of our founding fathers? Benjamin Franklin. Few people have had as much effect on the development of our country than him. He was an avid abolitionist, inventor, revolutionary, and ambassador to many other countries. In September 1767, Franklin visited Paris with his usual traveling partner, Sir John Pringle. News of his electrical discoveries was widespread in France. His reputation meant that he was introduced to many influential scientists and politicians, and also to King Louis XV. While living in London in 1768, he developed a phonetic alphabet in a scheme for a new alphabet and a reformed mode of spelling. This reformed alphabet discarded six letters Franklin regarded as redundant and substituted six new letters for sounds he felt lacked letters of their own. However, his new alphabet never caught on, and he eventually lost interest. Isn't that humorous? Doesn't it have an amazing effect on the history of reality? Or does it not? I'm going with not. It's just filler. As is this little triad. Filler. Cause I needs me eight pages. In 1879, he threw up a chunk of uranium and built the first atomic reactor. It was amazing, and if I recall correctly, all Earth was destroyed. Shortly thereafter, in 1876, due to a time warp, he stopped himself, and then started some fires, and then created the first fire department, and then he invented electricity. Yep, he also discovered it, shortly after making it. Prior to this time, lightning was actually caused by aliens. It wasn't electricity. It was carefully controlled plasma. For no reason. In case you're wondering, I'm planning on making my entire report like this. Eight plus pages of senseless rambling. In 1492, Benjamin Franklin, who by that time had mastered the art of time travel, wrote the script for Star Wars. But seeing that it would not be well received by the people of his time, he had dramatic plastic surgery done and changed his name to George Lucas. He then froze himself so that he wouldn't have to wait for the Nintendo Wii, which he also invented, but lost after activating its hidden interdimensional travel feature, activated by drawing an R in midair with the Wiimote. After averting the apocalypse by use of his laser eyes, he thought he would have some time to rest before he would have to battle the Midgard Zolem for Odin, who was feeling cowardly at the time but he was punched in the face in all possible dimensions, simultaneously, by the Space Pope, who is, as we all know, reptilian. The purpose for this punch is much debated by the insane. Many believe it was because Franklin was a confessed atheist, others because his staunch advocacy for the freedom of slaves, and some few believe it was because Franklin stole the eggs of the Queen Space Pope, they are, of course, a race of super-beings, and ate them, thus gaining immortality and a double chin. After the War of 1812 failed to happen, Franklin, in a fit of jealousy, and many believe nonsensical rage, set fire to the Berlin Wall, thus reuniting East and West Germany, providing them with the tools necessary to take over the world. He also gave the Germans the FTL, faster-than-light, drive. The Atom Cannon, the Graviton Cannon, Ion Cannon, Cannon Cannon. A cannon cannon fires cannons which fire other things at their target as they speed towards it. Technological sp superiority, cheese, chocolate, and of course, the unholy power of the Speedo. After Germany conquered the world, they offered Franklin a seat of power in the New World Order. He politely declined and then burned every human in existence to the ground. He then took up his axe, summoned his infinite blue ox, and set out to have many adventures in Jupiter. He also created a suit capable of not only allowing one to remain alive in the incredible pressure of Jupiter's surface, but of enjoying it. It uses a combination of ketamine and ecstasy 
to achieve this effect. After spontaneously regenerating humanity out of his left thigh, Franklin invented computers, the internet, and World of Warcraft, in reverse order. The editors of Cosmo magazine are yet to figure out how this is accomplished. I like how it starts off somewhat plausible, and then by the end it's just ridiculous. <laughs>